All right, so number six here, it's on um, the new syllabus item for the mathematical proof, right? So they want you to show that the left-hand side equal the right-hand side. Anytime you're asked to do questions like this, trying to stick to one side. So the left-hand side is equal to 2x minus 3 minus 6 over x minus 1. And I'm not touching the right. I just want to make this equal to the other side. So first thing I would do is I do common denominator. So when you do common denominator, what you have to do here is you have to make the numerator multiplied by the common denominator. So I'm going to expand and I'm going to get FOIL here, 2x squared minus 2x minus 3x plus 3 all over x minus 1 minus 6 over x minus 1. Now I combine the two things together. I'm going to get 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 minus 6 or 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 over x minus 1. And you see this is equal to the right-hand side. So I said equal to right-hand side. Okay. Make sure you show the left-hand side and you show the right-hand side separately. Okay. Make sure you do say left-hand side, right-hand side, and all those kinds of things. Okay. So that's part A. Basically showing the left-hand side is equal to right-hand side. It's just not too bad. Part B of the question is where it's tricky. Some, it seems like IB loves to do questions like this. They want to see if students can link the two together. But they always give you this keyword, which is hence or otherwise. That means use what you have in part A to link to part B. Okay, so when you see part B and you compare your part B to your part A, you see how you have two, two sine two theta minus three minus six over sine two theta minus one. And if you compare that to what you have on this side, well, what do you see? You see, instead of the letter X, you have sine two theta. But other than that, this is exactly that. So the first thing you really need to recognize is this, therefore, must equal to 2 sine 2 theta square minus 5 times sine 2 theta minus 3, all divided by sine 2 theta minus 1. You see, what's on the right here? 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 over x minus 1. This is exactly what I have here, except I don't have x. I have sine 2 theta. So you just direct substitute and turn it into that. That's really the essence of part B. Because if you don't recognize that, you can't solve this. This is the paper one. We can't solve something like that without a calculator. Okay. So that's the first thing. They kind of give you a hint here, but you have to recognize that hint. And you have to recognize that the left-hand side here looks just like that. It just, I don't have an X. I have a sine two theta. So you turn it into that. Now, once you turn it into that, then you set it equal to zero and you're trying to solve this and it becomes a much easier question. Anytime you have this, let me copy and paste this so that I don't have to rewrite everything. Okay. Uh, when you're setting this equal to zero, the denominator bring to the other side is gone. So zero is equal to two sine two theta square minus five sine two theta minus three. Now, if you go back to what they had earlier, they actually, the reason they give you this is they want to show you that, you know what, this is actually a quadratic that you can factor. If you have this, you can factor it into 2x times x, which will give you the 2x squared. You're going to have the 3 times the 1, which will give you the 3, and you need a minus 5. So that's negative 3 and a plus 1. 2 times 3 is negative 6. 
plus one is going to be negative five, or you do the composition. Okay, so you can actually factor this trigonometric equation into two sine two x plus one and sine two x minus three. So now when you solve, this is equal to zero and that's equal to zero. So sine two theta minus three equal to zero means this is gonna equal to three. This is sine two theta times by two plus one equal to zero. So it's gonna equal to negative one over two. This part, there's no solution because sine goes from negative one to positive one. Can't have three, no solution. This one, you can have a solution. Again, remember when we talk about a function, the sketch of the sine function, it's uh, middle, top, middle, bottom, middle. You go from negative one to positive one. So when we're looking at x equals negative half, there's going to be two solutions right there that you can solve for. A solution here, a solution there. Let me double check and see what the is it between zero to pi. Okay, so that's gonna have a slight effect to our solutions. We'll see. So here uh, we have this two solutions. Uh, we have two theta. So two theta is gonna equal to what's this point and what's that point? Here's when you need to do your friendly angles and cast rule. C A S T sine is negative right sine equal negative half so sine is negative sine is negative in this quadrant and in that quadrant it's a half sine of what is a half sine 30 degrees equal to half right so that means this is 30 degrees that's 30 degrees so this is going to be 210 degrees because that's 180 and this is going to be 330 degrees because this is 360. So you can do 210 and 330, but that's in degrees. We want radians. Uh, 30 degrees is equal to pi over six. This is seven times that. So this is seven pi over six. This is 11 times that. So that's 11 pi over six. But both of them are equal to two theta. The question is asking for theta. Right, you're solving for theta. So you have to take your final answer and divide it by two. So theta is equal to seven pi over 12 and 11 pi over 12, right? So that's the little tricky part for solving trigonometry equations. We did mention that in class, right? We set this equal to K and solve for it. If you don't remember, that's something that you need to work on. So part B of the question is a little tricky. Part A is asking you to show that the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side, kind of like an identity question, right, to prove. So you need to show common denominator, expanding, making left-hand side equal to the right-hand side. Part B of the question, recognize that those two are actually the same. We write this into that format. And then you're solving a trigonometric equation. Factor, and then solve each the brackets separately here, you need to use your friendly angles and cast rule because it's a paper one to figure out the two answers and therefore the final answer. 